This video will show how to change the zoning, operating mode, control, and description for the inputs of the IO 2034 NC module. It is an addressable, loop-powered 2000 series unit, with four inputs and four outputs. To modify the settings of this module, you must be logged into the panel at the installer level. To log in, press F4 to select main menu. Using the jog dial turn it, and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial, to go to the password option. Using the button enter the correct password for the user. To do this, simply turn the jog dial to select the right number, and by pressing the button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial or F4, to enter into the installer menu. Then press the button again, to go to the field setup. Scroll down to loop device config and press the jog dial. Select the loop number of the device that you would like to modify. Press the button, to select loop number 1, and see all the devices in it. Using the jog dial, find the I.O. module you want to edit. As you can see, in this case the 4i40 module with 4 inputs and outputs is numbered 1, 0, 0, 2, and each of its parts is listed as a separate device. Let's take a look at the first input, I1. You can use the F3 key, or press the jog dial, to move to the next setting line. Here you can change the input's operating zone. Pressing the button moves the cursor one step to the right, and turning it changes the displayed value. Let's put it in zone number 2. Be aware that only defining an input as an active fire element, will result in it being added to a zone. When finished, press the button to move the cursor to the operation mode selection. There are a number of selectable modes, so it is important to define the input correctly, according to the purpose. The input can be configured as log, to record the activation of the input in the event log, but not create a condition on the panel. Fault, to activate an external fault. Disable FBF sounder button, to interface to remote FBF equipment, to disable or enable sounders, in VDS regional mode. Technical alarm unlatched, to store in the event log, and create a technical condition on the panel. Technical alarm latched, as well as before but latched, means that the input will be deactivated after a system reset. Disable inputs with technical alarm, to disable all the technical alarm inputs, latched and unlatched. Pre-alarm status, to activate a pre-alarm typically from the aspirating detectors. Fire protection fault, to indicate remote faults in fire protection equipment. House alarm, to activate a manual call point alarm. MSP, to activate a manual call point alarm from sprinkler. Operator level, to bypass the operator password, if you have a key switch installed. Detector, to activate a detector alarm. MCP, to activate a manual call point alarm. Fire routing acknowledgement type 1, to indicate fire routing acknowledgement, or a fault if the acknowledgement is not received within 100 seconds of activation. Fire routing acknowledgement type 2, to indicate fire routing acknowledgement, or a fault if the acknowledgement is not received within 240 seconds of activation. Fire protection acknowledgement type 1, to indicate fire protection acknowledgement, or a fault if the acknowledgement is not received within 100 seconds of activation. Fire protection acknowledgement type 2, to indicate fire protection acknowledgement, or a fault if the acknowledgement is not received within 240 seconds of activation. Remote reset, to reset the control panel. Day mode change, to activate a day mode. And lastly night mode change, to activate a night mode. Once selected, press the button, to move to the control option. Here you define whether the input is enabled or disabled, disabled at day, or at night only, or stays in the soak test. The input is normally left on, as enabled. Now move the cursor to the device description. Here you change the device name, by using the jog dial. Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. Once you have finished, press F for enter to save the settings. Then press F1 to go back. Each of the four inputs of the 1002 module can be configured in a similar way. Once everything is ready, select F2, exit. To complete the process, press F3, 
to apply the new input's configuration. The changes will take effect after the panel reset.